Hi everyone. Um, thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, my name is Charlotte Porchak. I work for the organization Stand With Us who helps bring Israeli soldier stories. I really want to thank Bruins for Israel and um, the young American students. For, thank you, Barbara, um, for, for co-sponsoring this event with us. Um, we really hope that you guys stay and ask questions and we can create some great dialogue here. Um, Lital and Shai are going to just speak briefly about their experiences in the army and what it's like to be an Israeli, and then we're going to open it up for questions. So we'll have, some fair, we'll, we'll have a lot of time for questions and answers once they're done speaking. All right, please just be respectful, let them finish, and then I uh, will open it up for q Thank you guys so much. Hi. Hello, everyone. Um, I see that there might be some people in the audience uh, that might want to do some sort of a walkout, and I really hope that you won't do this and that we can engage in real dialogue. We're going to have a short presentation of my own and then of Lital's, and then we're going to have plenty of time for questions and answers, and we'd really love um, to just, you know, engage in dialogue and, and talk. Yeah, and if you believe that peace is possible, we really love you to stay in this dialogue with us. Between the years 2000 and 2008, over 8,000 rockets and missiles were launched from the Gaza Strip towards Derot in the southern communities in Kibbutzim in Israel. Now in 2008, Israel said enough is enough and started Operation Against Hamas, that terrorist organization, also known as Cast Lead. Now, it's important, okay, I hoped you guys wouldn't do this and that we can sit and engage with dialogue. Okay, um, we'd like to continue and just finish our presentation. And we'd also like to take your questions, you know, after we'll finish uh, our presentation. Okay. We'd love for you to stay and engage in dialogue. Okay, it's really sad that we're not able to talk. We'd love for you to stay so we can engage in dialogue. Peace is all about dialogue and not about hatred. I think one of the most important things that anyone who wants to reach some kind of peace is first dialogue dialogue and to have that ability. But to hear the other side. Okay. So, um, yeah, uh, at the moment, anyone who has a seat, you know, we'd love for you guys to take a seat.